Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. It's time for another unboxing, and it's that time of the year when HP and all these other manufacturers release their low-cost PCs, and we're taking a look at the HP Stream 14 in this unboxing. We'll have a full review of this up soon on my main channel at lon.tv. This is a 14-inch laptop that costs $249. I bought this with my own funds. Uh, we've been looking at these HP streams quite a bit over the years. So this is the newest version that has the new Intel Apollo or Gemini Lake, excuse me, processor on board, which is the latest low end chip that Intel has. And we found that chip to perform uh, pretty well, actually, given the price point these computers typically fall into. Uh, so again, 249 bucks on this one. Let's take a look at the ports and then uh, we'll see if we can uh, look at potential upgradability with this one. Uh, so right here you have a Kensington lock, HDMI port for HDMI out. Looks like we've got three USB ports on this side, two USB 3.0 ports and a USB 2.0 port over here. Uh, so that one's a little slower than the other two. Uh, here you've got a full-size SD card slot and a headphone microphone jack there. On the other side, nothing but the power input on it, so no USB-C or anything else like that. Let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. Uh, it looks a lot like the prior versions of the HP Stream laptops. A nice full-size keyboard here, which looks pretty decent. Uh, the screen is shiny, as you can see. I don't believe this is a touch screen on this $249 version. Uh, it is also uh, 1366 by 768 resolution, so basically a 720p screen on this one. And I think the laptop might need a charge here, so we're not able... Oh, there it goes. Uh, so we'll take a look and see how that screen looks as it boots up. So I'm not too crazy about having a 720p display in a 14-inch form factor like this, but for the price point, I think it's uh, somewhat reasonable. So I'm going to take a look and see if there's a way to uh, get inside of this to see if we might be able to upgrade any of it. Uh, inside, it has 4 gigs of RAM and, and 64 gigabytes of storage, so it is somewhat usable on the storage front. They're now using DDR4 RAM on these today. So I'm just looking through the specs right now, and actually it looks like the RAM is not upgradable, but maybe we can see if we can get in at the storage. So stay tuned, and we'll take a look. All right, after a lot of work, I got the uh, case opened up here. So in case you're wondering, what you have to do is uh, take off the little rubber feet that are on the bottom of the laptop, and then you can get in. Oops, and there it goes. Um, and interestingly enough, uh, when I took it apart, even though the product description said the RAM was not upgradable, it is in a slot here. So theoretically, uh, you could take this 4 gigabyte stick out and possibly put in an 8 gig stick. Unfortunately, I do not have an 8 gig stick to test this, but as you can see here, it is removable. But there's only one slot, uh, so we won't get dual channel RAM on this, meaning that uh, this won't perform as fast as it could. I also did not find any place where I could install my own storage on here. So it looks like the 64 gigabytes of storage is soldered down to the main board here, but the RAM is not. That's not a usual thing that we see on these uh, low cost laptops. Usually everything is soldered down, but in this case, the RAM is removable. How about that? So I'm gonna put this thing back together now. We're going to have a full review coming up soon, very shortly on my main channel at lon.tv. So stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Bill Reiner, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.